hi guys and uh, welcome to my latest video I know that it's been uh, been a while since uh, I've been active on uh, YouTube but uh, hopefully I will be a bit more active and update with more videos from now onwards so for this video we're taking a look at uh, the multi charts uh, trading platform um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about click on the link in the description of the video to read about multi charts and uh, the support for native Renko charts. Now bear in mind that I'm using the demo trial version for multi charts so I don't really have access to a lot of data except uh, the a couple of uh, data that is provided as part of this trial. The multi charts uh, trading platform is a professional trading platform. Um, it is broker independent so you could uh, purchase this platform and connect it to a broker of your choice. However, I would recommend that you first check with MultiCharts if the broker that you want to connect with has uh, offers a connection to the charting and trading platform. Um, the MultiCharts platform, as you can see, um, is um, how it looks right now. You've got four separate chart windows and a bunch of um, a bunch of instruments. Over here, we've got the Apple chart, and this is your regular candlestick chart. Now in order to switch to a Renko chart, you need to click on the Renko chart icon right here. Remember that you have other custom chart types which is your regular bar chart, line chart and your Heikenashi. And then you've got your custom charts which is the point and figure, Kagi and uh, the line break. So click on Renko and automatically you have your Renko charts that are populated. Now if you want to change the settings for the instrument, right click anywhere on the chart and click on format instrument. This will take you to the instrument window from where you can select a different instrument. But here we're changing the Renko charts. So click on settings and you can select the box size which is 0.5 points and I've selected it to a fixed price. You can also select it to a fixed percentage. Note that uh, there is no ATR unfortunately. Now the resolution one day is basically the base uh, base date or base uh, chart from which the values are calculated. So in this case, we're using one day. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, the tick data to show here. You can click on show wick, uh, show phantom bars, which is used when there are uh, gaps. And you've got a couple of uh, settings for your trades and the date range. This date range is another essential factor as it computes the Renko chart from this day onwards. Click OK and here you've got your Renko charts. Which is quite simple actually. You have uh, a bunch of uh, drawing tools right here at the bottom. This is the Fibonacci retracement tool. You can also add a couple of indicators if you'd like. Let's look for moving average. So I'm adding a 10 period close. Here I have the 10 period moving average. I could add another moving average. Here you've got uh, two lines, which is uh, interesting because you don't need to keep adding multiple indicators all the time. There you have it. You've got your moving averages and uh, you also have uh, your drawing tools. Let's select the trend line.
Now let's take a look at a couple of other charts. This is uh, the regular chart for NASDAQ. We're looking at uh, one day and probably we go back to May 2010. It's going to take a bit of time for, uh, for the data to be populated. I'm assuming that this lag is avoided once you have a fully working uh, license with multi-charts. Okay, in the meantime, you've got the nice composite index here. Um, okay, just a quick note that you can also add uh, sub indicators onto the chart. To do so, again, click on right click on the chart, click on insert study, and uh, attach the stochastics chart. And here you go. You've got your moving average and uh, the stochastics chart. You also have a bunch of other trading uh, options which is uh, I would say similar to how uh, things are on uh, Ninja Trader. You've got your trading panel right here and you can place your orders automatically. So guys um, I think this uh, pretty much summarizes the uh, demo for uh, multi charts which makes use of uh, the native uh, retro chart application there isn't really much to see here um, you basically can choose between a fixed uh, box size or a fixed percentage for the box size the platform has a bunch of uh, drawing tools and uh, technical indicators that you can use and uh, yeah that basically summarizes the uh, multi charts uh, review for uh, the native red chart application in case you have any questions feel free to uh, comment below and let me know thank you and have a good day